axis, and the point O is sitting in the back. So <coughs> the force which is the x that goes to zero and <coughs> the z goes to zero then y3 will be 4 over 2 and half the <coughs> plate thickness is 1 over 2 and it should be negative so it's going down from the point O so <coughs> that goes to zero then you get negative 2.5 and zero. Then we need the third one, we are looking at V4. That's the bottom plate. Again, it's going to be 3 times 6 times 1 or 18. We need X4 bar, you need Y4 bar, and then you need the 4 bar. So this goes to 0. How about the X and Y? The centroid here is at the center. I mean, you're looking at C4, somewhere here. <coughs> so you need half of this and half of this for X. So X4 bar is 0.5 plus half of 3 is 1.5 or 2 inches. Y4 bar should be half of this, so you have 4 up to here, then you add another 0 0.5, that becomes 4.5. And we know that the Z4 is 0. So again, the Y going up is positive, this is going down, you attach a negative sign. <coughs> So this came out to be 18. Then for x we got 2. Then you have negative 4.5 and 0. Then we need three more columns. First column is x i bar and v i. Then you have the second column y i bar v i. Then you have the third column c i bar v i. We can multiply every term in this column to every term in this column. First one goes to zero. Second one goes to zero. Uh, this one will stay here. So if x should be 0, negative 2.5 and a 0, and <coughs> the volume here, as we found 2, 1, basically it's the same. 6 times 5 is 30. So this time this also gives you 0 and the last one will be 36. <coughs> then you go this times this, then the first entry will be 18, the second entry will be 0, third entry is negative 75 and then you go this times this, it gives you negative. 
then everything here is basically zero, so everything goes to zero. So we're going to do the sum. We add everything in this column. That's the summation for the volume. And if you add everything up, it comes out to be 58, 9, 9, 5. <coughs> you, add, you add everything up here, that comes out to be 36, and that's x, i bar, and vi. So you're going to add everything up here, that comes out to be negative. 138, and that's y, i bar, and vi. Then you add everything up here, so all zeros, and that will be c, i bar, and vi. So we have everything we need. Your x bar will be this number here, that's 36. You divide it by 58. 995. Nine, then you have y bar <coughs> that's negative 138 that's 58 995. Nine, then you have the z bar that's 0 over 58 995. Nine, this one here will be 0.61 inches. This one's going to be negative 2.0 four inches and this one will be zero. So <coughs> that gives you the XYZ coordinates for the component. Now <coughs> you notice that <coughs> the last coordinate was zero and everything for every volume the Z comp coordinate came out to be zero. Now this could have been known beforehand. If you look at this plane, see this plate could be divided into half right through this plane. I mean if you take x o y, that plane is the plane of symmetry. I mean if you take a plane and then put it right at the middle of this plate then the centroid should have been on that plane. And that plane was z equals to 0. Then as a result, all of the coordinates for the z, I mean z coordinate came out to be 0. <coughs> so any questions on this? <coughs>